Hi there, so today we'll talk about the verb mar. Mar is another verb that has many, many translations, meanings, it's used in countless idioms as well. And you know the drill will first conjugate the verb mar, mer, mer, marin, merni, marin. Past simple mora, mora, morat, and the past participle is mar. So the first meaning of mar is to take, to take something. So mar, for example, I took the book, emora librin. Or did you take the book, emore librin? So I'm using more. It's the same verb, just another tense, past simple. So that's the, verb, the first meaning of mar. Um, mar is also to receive. For example, I received an email. Mora nye email. Ngapuna, I received email, an email from work. Um, um, mar is also used if we combine it, for example, with the word borge. Mar, mar borge, that means to borrow. Mar para borge, to borrow money. Um, yamora borge, that means I borrowed it from him or her. Yeah, that means it from him or her. Yamora borge, I borrowed it. Um, Mar is used with the word vesh. Vesh means ear, so to take an ear, this means kuptoi, to understand. Kuptoi, or also um, to find out. So, did you, real, did you find out about I am more a vesh, something, something? Or in the meaning of to understand, nukto mar vesh, I don't understand you. Maybe because the, the connection is bad or something like that. So, nukto mar vesh. Mar, <coughs> mar me chira, to take with rent, that means to rent something. So, mar, what can you take? What can you rent? Mar nya makin me chira, um, shtepi, dom, etc. Man dom me chira. Um, we learned mar borj earlier to borrow. You can also say mar hua. Hua and borj mean the same thing. So mar para hua or mar um, para borj. Um, the question, Samore, literally, how much did you take it? So how much was it? Or yes, how much was it? Samore, emora, nichin, leg. I got it for a hundred leg. Samore. Kuemore. So where where did you get it? Or where did you take it? Where did you buy it? Kuemore, emora nechan. So mar as well. Emora nichi leg, emora shumlir. I got it for I got it very cheaply. Or it was very cheap. Emora shumlir. Or epaske mar lir. Oh, you got it for for so cheaply or so cheap or oh, it is so cheap the pass mar lir mar um, is used with the word mar provimin and it means kaloi provimin that means to to what's the word in english help me help me to pass an exam so mar provimin emore provimin did you pass the exam emore literally did you take the exam so, mar provimin. Um, other meanings of mar, uh, there is a very famous um, idiom. So, emori lumi. The river took it, took it or him or her. Emori lumi, that can have many meanings, but one of the most usages one, used one is he, uh, emori lumi, he is now like over. He is in so many problems. He got a very a huge problem. Emori Lumi, like he is now in big issues or big problems. Um, what else? We said Mar Provimin, that's to pass the exam. Mar Pushimet, that means to take the holidays, to take the days off. Mar Pushimet. Uh, mar Leyen Ezakon Shmet, that means that those are the holiday, the paid holidays from work. The paid vacations. That's Lea is a conchman. Mar Lea is a conchman. Leyen is a conchman. Um, what else with Mar? So Mar Machira, Mar Para, Mar Vesh, Mar Li, or Mar Telephone. Very important one. Um, 
to take someone on the phone, that means to call someone. So, uh, did you call him or I already called him? A kamar na telephone. I have already called him or her. A kamar na telephone. Um, mar probably mean to pass the exam. Mar rogan. Rogan with an N. That means to get your salary. Mar rogan. Um, what else? Mar. Oh, another expression or very famous idiom is po me meren ment. So don't confuse mar with merem. One is active, one is um, reflexive verb. This is reflexive. Pomomeren men, that means I am feeling dizzy. Literally, my, my mind is like being taken away. So um, I'm feeling dizzy. Um, mar per, poor or grua. That means to take someone uh, to be. Um, to take someone for wife or husband. So, Amori per Grua. That means he or she married her. Amori per Grua, Amori per Bur. So, to take someone to be your uh, husband or wife. Okay, I guess um, these are the most common usages of Mar. If you know anyone, any other ones, then you are uh, free to leave a comment uh, below. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.